Marie Polanco has the most tragic story among other characters. She is 31 years old. She was raised at the age of 19 by Mary Jason, who comes from a wealthy Chapio family. She then got pregnant and gave birth to Mutu, whom she despised at first. The first quotation is to highlight the rebellious side of Marie Colanto. I leave home, Amma, I said. I leave so that you won't be disgraced. I'll go away someplace where no one will regret me and kill myself. The words tripped from my mouth so effortlessly. Anita Nye, Ladies Group, page 257. This quotation takes place when Sujata Aka suggested to Amma and Marie Colanto to marry Morgesen as she is going to force Morgesen to be responsible for his action. Only if Marie Colanto told them instantly after the incidents. However, Marie Colanto refused and said that she ready die in marrying her own brothers. Her action makes her ama upset and regard her as arrogant. If I were in Marie Colanto's shoes, I would do the same too. You can't expect the victim to live under the same rule. Though Marie Colanto has her own mind, she still have the obedient daughter's side of her. As we can see in this quotation, but Amma had already snapped the note from between my fingers. You'll lose it. This will come in useful at the end of the month. I stared at my mother. That was my money, I wanted to say. She gave it to me to spend as I please, but I didn't say and walk away holding back my tears. Anita Nair, Let's Scoop, page 234. In this quotation, Mercantil had just received few money from Sujata Aka to spend as her please, but then her ama snapped the notes from her finger uh, to be used for mutu expenses. As we all know that Mercantu despised Mutu, so when she know that the money that she just received will be spent for Mutu expenses, she become um, pretty much disappointed and <coughs> don't know what to feel. The third 
interpretation is oppressed but free at last from Marcolanti's side. The quotation says, Remember what I told you about the rules of my life having no chronology, no sense of rightness? What happened then was that for the first time, I wrested control of my destiny. I wasn't going to wage wars or rule kingdoms. All I wanted was a measure of happiness. All I wanted to be was Mota's mother, for so long now, I had been con content to remain a sister to the real thing. Surrogate housewife, surrogate mother, surrogate lover, but now I wanted more. I wanted to be the real thing. Anita Nair, Ladies' Cook, page 282. Based on the quotation, she is finally free and free from oppression after her rapist, Mogasin, died. She finally set, she finally has, has gained control of her life and has found her sole purpose in life. She has wrestled with her destinies, her families, the society to achieve their to achieve her share of self respect. She is awakened by the need for self assertion and independence, which will make the which will make her life wholesome and joyful. From the story we can see that Marie Colantu is a strong woman. Though she has been tested with a lot of awful incidents. When she was young and continued being mistreated, she was still um, persevered throughout her journey in life. After the rape incident, she seemed to lose her life purposes and doing things for other people's sake. Nevertheless, after the death of her rapist, Murugasin, she seemed to find her own life purposes and achieve liberation from her angst and start to find herself again. She wanted to be a good mother to a smutu whom she despised before. And we hope any Marikulantu out there will find their liberation and peace later on. Towards the end, like Marikulantu did. Rava Devi is the main character in Chapter 8, A Float in Ladies' Coupe. In this story, Rava Devi lived as a perfect woman. In fact, she is the most privileged woman among all characters in Ladies' Coupe. She had the most perfect childhood as a baby girl and grew up in privileged life as a teenager that all girls dream of. Went to a convent school, was groomed well by a nun and able to speak proper English. When she asked her parents for a permission to go to a cinema, her father approved immediately, while other girls in India were strictly controlled by their parents. She was married to a wealthy and handsome guy and her husband is very supportive to everything she wants to do. From what we have read in A Float Chapter 8, Anita's name, Ladies Kupi, we found that Prabha Devi is such a lucky woman. She got everything in her life since she was born as she had a good and rich parents, excellent education, she lived in a luxurious family and her family find her a perfect husband. This can be seen from the quotation from page 181. So, in the same spirit, they accepted his decision to wed Prabha Devi to Jagdish, the only son and higher prosperous diamond merchant. Besides, they could expand the diamond section in their four jewelry stores. Only Prabha Devi's mother was saddened by the news. She should be happy, she knew. Jagdish was good looking and smart. His family pedigree was excellent and her daughter was lucky to marry into such a fine family. Anita Ne, Ladies Coupe, page 181. Prabha Devi is too lucky to have a perfect life and a perfect future husband who has everything in his life. She, he is also good looking, smart and come from a nice family. If I am in her place, I will be grateful enough to have such a lucky life living in happy and kind family. As we know from the story, Prabha Devi is a lucky woman as she married to a wealthy and handsome husband. But before that, she is already living her life in privilege. Her parents take care of her in luxurious and perfect environment just as sending her to a convent school. But after she get married, her life became more luxurious when she had than she had with her parents. As in, in page 178, Ladies Coupe, Anita Nair stated that Prava Devi rose from the spring mattress fitted bag covered with a satin spread and switched off the air conditioning, which has explained how privileged her life after she got married to a wealthy husband.
Besides, Prabha Devi is also a proud person who really confident about herself and she always said that she is proud to be herself. She is a woman who has goals in her life and confident that she can get everything she wants in her life. This quote from page 188 shows that she is a proud person who confident about herself. Prabha Devi wanted to be like a woman she had seen in New York with twingy hair and a confident stride. They seemed to know exactly where they were going and once they got there, what they had to do. Their lives were ruled by themselves and no one else. Such poise, such confidence, such celebration of life and beauty. Prabha Devi wanted that for herself. Anita Nye, Lady page 188. I really like her character as she is a woman who proud to be herself and rules her life with her own term and confidence. She's not afraid to show the world her true self and what she wanted to achieve in her life. I think she can be such an inspiration to other women out there. So, from the ladies' copy by Anita Nye, we can conclude that Prabha Devi is just a lucky and privileged woman. When she was born, everything is fully prepared for her. However, she was too proud of herself that she think that she can win anyone she wants like her mark without considering the consequences. But thank God, she realized everything before it is too late. And finally, she, become, she became the best wife and mother ever. Uh, let's proceed to our main character of Lady's Coupe novel, which is Akila. So for our first and second quotation, we have choose individual aspiration as our main issue here. So for the first quotation, so this then is Akila, 45 years old, sounds rose colored spectacle, sounds husband, children, home and family, dreaming of escape and space, hungry for life and experience, aching to connect. Anita Nai, let's go page, page 2. So here we can see that Akila is an independent woman where she need no partner to proceed this journey all her life. So the second quotation which is I'm done and I will never see you again. Please don't call me at my office or try and meet me. You will leave me with no option but to leave this city. I love you Hari. I'll perhaps never love anyone else but this is not meant to be. Anita Nai, Lady's Coupe, page 162 until 163. Okay, from this quotation, we can see that Akila want to end he, her relationship with Hari, which is much younger than her, because she is afraid about the society will talk badly about their relationship. Okay, move on to the last quotation. Which is the key issue that we want to highlight is the change and agency versus conformity. Okay, so the quotation is Akila opened a cupboard and drew out a black and red Madura chuli sari. It was cotton and starched, but the colors and gold zari made Fatma look cup being surprised. Akila had long ago ceased to wear bright colors, choosing to hide herself in dark mauve tones. Yet, this morning, Akila was a butterfly, with magical hues and a gay abandon. Where is the moth? Why aren't your wings folded? Why aren't you trying to pretend that you and the wood are one? Why aren't you hiding yourself among the curtains? Fatma's eyes ask. Anita Naya, let us go. Page 4. So, from this quotation, we can see that Anita Akila is changed from her usual identity, which is she always wears sari that has dull color. But this morning she changed to the uh, gold and gold sari and red Madura chundi sari. Akila is a strong woman. She supports her family after her father died. But she is a poor woman. She does what is expected from others to do and she doesn't have her own identity. She chose to be a spinster even though she has a boyfriend that loves her so much. But still, she ended the relationship in the end. I respect her decision. She does what will make her happy and do what she wants. 
From this story, we believe with the concept of empowering women. Women should find and have their own identity, just like every individual should. Women should be given chance to follow their dream and ambition, no matter what it is. And there shouldn't be double standard between men and women. Moreover, we believe that women are capable in doing great things, great things just like men did.